It's time for the Todd Wilkerson Show. Learn all about Heritage Hills football. This week's show is sponsored by Milligan Communications, Street Dreams, and the Southwestern Indiana Sports Network, powered by Milligan Brosmer Communications. Go Patriots! Wanting to scan those old videos, films, or audio to DVD? We'll look no further than Milligan Communications. We can also scan your old pictures, slides, and negatives to picture quality as well. With thousands of happy customers, let Milligan Communications help put your treasured memories on a digital media. Call Milligan Communications today at 812-630-2449. Milligan Communications, capturing your yesterdays. You dream it, we create it at Street Dreams. Custom paint, fabrication, stereos, wheels, tires, and more. We're also your authorized Sinister Sound dealer. Street Dreams, 317-624-1000, where you expect quality and get... <clears throat> and welcome to this week's Todd Wilkerson Christmas Show. And Coach, last week you took on the Washington Hatchets at home. And you came out of seventy-seven zero, Victor. Why don't you recap that game for us? Yeah, we had a, we had played a great defensive game. I was very very proud of that. <clears throat> you know, we've been pushing our kids to play better defensively, and I thought we just played a, an absolute co- complete game on that side of the ball. <clears throat> um, we had two defensive touchdowns, uh, held them to fifteen yards of total total offense. I think they had negative yards rushing. So, you know, just a, a, a nice effort overall from, from everybody that was on the field defensively. You know, and then offensively, uh, again, a, a great effort. Uh, we had quite a few guys score, uh, had about 390 yards rushing. So so just, just put together a complete game, and I was proud of the guys' effort. And I'll tell you what, one of the uh, the most touching things yeah. I've read about it was uh, that, that you had uh, Blake Dutlinger uh, score a two-point conversion. He lost his leg in a farming accident last season, and, uh, and I don't care who, if you're a Heritage fan or just a fan of football, it's got to warm your heart and show that how, what a class organization you guys are. Well, we we've been so proud of Blake's attitude and and his effort in in re, you know in his recovery from his accident. You know, it's been a tough year, and a lot of times people probably don't see all the tough times that he goes through because he puts a smile on his face every day and shows up and and. Uh, you know, acts acts like everything's fine, but we know he's he's gone through a lot. He's worked his butt off in the off season, and it was just so awesome to see him out there on the field. Uh, you know, he and I had the discussion over over winter break that uh, you know we we both envisioned him being out on the football field uh, this year. We didn't really know exactly how it was going to happen, or or uh, you know the the complete process of of him going through and and getting a prosthetic leg and, and learning how to run and, and all those kind of things. And, and he just put in the work all summer, uh, you know, all fall. And it, it was such a blessing for us to, to get the opportunity to, to get him out there and carry the ball. And, you know, we did it on a two-point conversion, so he had three yards to go to get in there, and, and I think he would got in from 10. It was just a great uh, great experience for everybody that was at the game and, and everybody on the team. It was an awesome experience. And, you know, it was a special uh, weekend for the Heritage Hills Patriots, too, because uh, you, you inducted five uh, Patriot legends into the Indiana Football Hall of Fame last weekend. <clears throat> yeah, that, it was just a, an awesome day. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it, it could have gone better uh, in terms of the weather and the, the uh, just just having so many people from uh, from our history back together. Uh, to uh, partake in that ceremony, uh, Lance Wilkerson came over and emceed it for us and did an outstanding job. And and you know my my whole wish for that day was that each inductee would just enjoy the day. And I think I think each one of those guys just really enjoyed getting back and seeing uh, some some familiar faces. Those guys who were who've been out of town and and out of the area coming back and seeing some of their old friends. And and it was great for our community. 
you know, the, the, the people who came uh, were able to come up on the stage after this event and, you know, get aut- autographs from Jay Cutler and Ken Delger and, and Bruce King and, and talk to these guys. And uh, it was just a really nice event. And, you know, for, for all the people that uh, helped get it together, just did an awesome job. And it, it was just a wonderful day for Patriot football. And we're back on the title. This is Joe Riley. These messages for our sponsors. You'll see the South Pacific Sports Network powered by Melvin Bosman Communications. When you think sporting goods, think no further than All Star Sports in Ferdinand. Custom embroidery, screen printing, team uniforms, sports equipment, and sports apparel and shoes. We have it all. Give Brad a call today at 812 367 1618 or visit them in the Country Plaza Shopping Center in Ferdinand. All Star Sports is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, and Saturday, 9 to 4. All Star Sports, when you're thinking sporting goods. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. And welcome back to the Todd Wilkins Show. And we've got with us Herd Shields volleyball coach, Kayla White. Kayla, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. And, uh, you know, you guys sit at 15-11 on the season. Uh, why, mm-hmm. don't you, why don't you kind of recap the season for us at this point? Yeah. Um, so we started off pretty strong. We have a lot of returning players, um, and they started off pretty strong season, going 6-0. and um, went through some injuries, some illnesses, um, kind of had some of my older ones fall out uh, and have a rough middle of the season. And so then we had some some younger bodies get a chance to step up. And so we were kind of up and down a little bit throughout the middle of the season. And then we're starting to starting to pick back up now towards the end. So hopefully we're finishing out strong, getting some of the old ones back off the injury list or obviously they're not sick anymore. Uh, and, and then we have the young ones that have stepped up and, kind of strengthened in their area, so we're getting a deeper bench. So it's looking pretty good towards the end. Yeah, I was going to say, looking at your stats, you know, your, your leaders in your stats, I, I see this the name Savannah Gogo quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a sophomore, um, but she acts and plays as if she's a much older player. Um, she's very, very strong physically and mentally. She's our middle hitter, um, and so she is just a powerhouse. She she hits over everybody, she's a block, she's a, she's a loud presence. Uh, so, yeah, she's she's a fun one to get to coach and to watch play. And uh, you've got Southridge tomorrow night. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you have the rest of this week? So, we have, yeah, Southridge tomorrow. Uh, we'll be at Southridge, and then we'll have Pike Central on Thursday. So, they're both away games, and then now we move sectional. So, they're both sectional teams. So, it kind of gives us a taste of what we're walking into next week with that. So, these are – Big games because they're PAC and then they're also possible sectional. So, pretty and, a lot riding on this one. And you know, looking at the PAC standings, it mm-hmm. looks like um, other than Tecumseh sitting at ten and zero, everyone looks pretty cl- pretty close. Yeah, every match with PAC has been pretty even across the board for the most part. Um, so it's, it's been fun. It's it's always been neck and neck. Everything seems to be close. So it's been a fun year, competitive mm-hmm. wise. And, you know, next week starts sectional time, and mm-hmm. last night was a sectional draw in, in Class 3A. Mm-hmm. You got you drew the bye. Um, you'll play the winner of the Vincent's uh, Princeton game. What can you tell us about those two teams? Yeah, so we were lucky to, to draw the bye since that's our first year in it. So we were excited about that so we can kind of get a taste of what everyone else um, is like in the sectionals. We played Princeton very early in our season, um, so we – we have a little bit on them, but we're going to have to do um, some film watching to see if they've changed any. And Vincent's Lincoln, we have never – this is my sixth year coaching, and I've never played Vincent's in a tournament or a regular season or anything. So we're kind of coming to that one blind. Um, so we're going to have to do a little bit of research digging in the next week so we can know what we're getting into. And, you know, and uh, uh, looking at the other teams on the bottom of the bracket – 
mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, is Washington Southridge, Pike Central, mm-hmm. and Bar and we'll be on the bottom of the bracket. And um, who do you think's some of the top teams in this sectional? For sure, Bar It's like they're always the top of everything, <laughs> always. So they're they're the top in that bottom bracket for sure. Um, and then Southridge and Washington are kind of that. They have their strong moments, and then they have their uh, lesser moments. So if they come out strong, come out ready to go then they're going to put up a fight with anybody. So that one could be a decent toss-up. Well, Coach, good luck this week, and uh, good luck in the sectional. And we look forward to a a Heritage Hills and Patriots championship and talk to you in the regional week. Yeah, thanks for calling. It was good to talk to you. And you've been listening to the Todd Wilkinson Show on the South Louisiana Sports Network, hired by Miller and Brooks for Communications. We'll be back right after these messages from our sponsors. Wanting to scan those old videos, films, or audio to DVD? We'll look no further than Milligan Communications. We can also scan your old pictures, slides, and negatives to picture quality as well. With thousands of happy customers, let Milligan Communications help put your treasured memories on a digital media. Call Milligan Communications today at 812-630-2449. Milligan Communications. Capturing your yesterdays. This is the most important, amazingest game ever played in the universe. The pitcher is fierce. Danny Roberts is up at bat. And the crowd goes wild. He just won the game. Let's go. Yes. We protect the car you drive. Go get them, Danny. And the dreams that drive you. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. And welcome back to the Todd Wilkinson Show and Coach. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, you know, with that, that interview with Kayla White, uh, I think that they're trying to put an all-star cast together of coaches over there at Herod Shills. <laughs> yeah, we've got some really good people here. I mean, uh, you know, our, our athletic department in general, we've got some really great coaches and, and just some awesome people. Uh, we we wish all of them the best as we ap- approach uh, tournament time here. And you know, this week uh, you get to have an away game against Southridge, who sits at six and one on the season. Uh, why don't you preview that game for us? Yeah, you know, Southridge has just played great this year. I, I feel like you know they're so well coached and they're so disciplined. Uh, you know, you watch them on film and and they, and they just they're just like a machine. They come out and do what they do. Uh, their defense has been lights out this year. Uh, you know they've uh, earlier in the year uh, a lot of the, a lot of their games have been prior to the opponent that we played and you know they they uh, shut out Boonville earlier in the year and um, shut out North Posey uh, had a great uh, game against Gibson Southern so that you know they've just really done a nice job this year uh, of uh, being very disciplined and, and executing their game they've got they've got uh, some kids who are physical they play hard and together as a team. Um, and you know they're they're uh, in our sectional, so so we know this is a big week for us in terms of coming out and playing well, uh, you know, to to try to get some momentum uh, for for the tournament, and and that's win or lose. I mean, we we need to come out and be competitive and play uh, play well this week, and and uh, you know kind of see how the matchup goes. You, you know, they aren't uh, real big on the on the defensive line but they're they're so quick and they shoot gaps and um that's kind of the the approach they've taken uh with their their some of their kids and and it's tough because you they're going to be moving around and slanting and um showing you different looks they always show us different defensive looks um than we see uh, usually over the course of the year so so it's just a, a matter of this week of of making sure our kids really focus in on on uh, what we're doing uh you know so we can move the ball and then Offensively, they're, they've just they've just got a lot of nice kids that are running the ball well, and their quarterback has just done an exceptional job throwing the ball. I've, I've been so impressed with uh, their passing game uh, this year. It's, it's really opened up uh, some some scoring opportunities for them. And 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 you know against Gibson Southern, they hit some really nice pass plays uh, to stay in that game. So. Uh, you know, tough, tough matchup for us this year, but we understand they're they're right up the road, seven miles, and and they're intersectional. So so you know we we're working really hard this week to uh, to to make it a great game. 
And uh, it'll be senior night for the Raiders. And uh, I forgot to mention in the first section, it was senior night for you guys against Washington. Yes, it was. You know, very proud of our seniors. We have 15 seniors this year. Uh, always so proud of the guys that stick with all the hard work uh, they have to do to, to make it to their senior year in our program. Uh, they're, they're a great group of young men, and, and uh, you know, I, I want to see them play football for, for several more weeks. Well, Coach, good luck this week against Southridge. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. And you can listen to the Todd Wilkerson Show on the Southwest Media Sports Network, powered by Melody and for Communications. We'll see you next week. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.